This video is about clipping mask function in Procreate and specifically how to use it for home decor design. In another video, we showed you these patterns where we did the repeat patterns on them. And we're going to use those patterns now for this um, application. First, we're gonna to go to our Procreate and we already have this design which we've done and I want to change the design on this lamp. So what we'll do is we'll see that each one of these has a layer. So I'm gonna delete the layer where the design is. You can see the bottom layer now. And then I'm gonna to have to add another layer. And then I'm gonna insert a photo of the design that I want. And then I will put that design on top and I'll move it around whatever size I wanna put on. And then I'll go back to my layer function there at the top. And then I will do what's called clipping mask. And then you'll see how nicely this kind of clips into exactly my design once I do the clipping mask on this. There we go, and it will clip right in. This is, I can do this for each part of this lamp. I could do it for these, a very top part here I'm doing now, do the same process. Um, delete that layer, go in and find the design or pattern that I want to put on. I insert it again through inserting my photos, find it in all my photos, and then I can move it around however I want to, to whatever size I want. I can uh, change any way I want to. And then I go back to my layers again, that's there at the very top right hand side. And I will then do press the clipping mask. You can just clip, press it with your pen if you want or your finger, and there it will clip it. Now I want to do the same thing for the finial at the top of the lamp, because of course you want the finial to be able to match. So again, I'm going to add a layer. I've added layer 10 there. Then I have to go back to the tool. I have to insert a photo and find my photos again that I will need for the clipping mask. So I'll insert it. I can move it around whatever direction I want, make it as small or as big as I want to. Go back to the layer, go back to the layer I'm on and press clipping mask and there it clips. So now I don't really quite like the shade. So I'm going to have to, um, again, delete the layer of the shade. And there's a couple things you can do for things like shades. You know, you can um, just basically, you can go in and try to pick a color from one of your palettes, like I'm doing here now. I'm looking to see which color I think might look good. And then I can, you know, put the color on there and, you know, fill it into the space there and see if I like it. But I don't really like that. I think it would look better if I actually do the clip masking and do some actual fabric. So I'll go back in, here's a piece of uh, fabric I like for shade and see how much nicer that looks now when I use the actual fabric. So once this is done, then I can go and I can um, take it and I can duplicate it and then I can export it. So now I've duplicated it and I want to basically do the same thing with this but I want to change to a different pattern. So I go and delete the layer I just did and remember it's duplicated so this will not be harming the first one I did at all. And then I go back in and I find here's the other pattern that I had that I wanted to do. And I can do the same thing, I can move it around, kind of try to decide um, whether I like it or I don't like it or how do I like it on there. And I kind of thought, well, it probably look better. You know, you can, you can actually play around with this a bit. You can decide which way it is you can clip mask and then you can um, See, you know, I don't really like that at all. So I think I'm gonna try to maybe go in and, and uh, do something else with it. So you have to delete the layer again. You'll have to go back in and you'll have to reinsert the photo um, this time. And then you'll have to kind of decide, because I think I wanna have the pattern be a little bit bigger. I think it'll just look you know, nicer on this actual lamp base. And then I will just clip mask it again. And yes, I like that better. So for the top part of the lamp, I need to do the same thing, delete the layer that we did before. And then I'll have to, um, so to delete it, you can just slide, you know, just slide your finger on it. And then I will need to go back to find my pattern again. And this way you can, you know, can change it, move it around, decide how big or small you want to do it, 
what you think would look nice. I think it would look nice probably like about like that. And there, I, I like that. Then the same thing for the finial. Delete the layer that I just did. Do the clipping mask. I'll have to, in order to do the clipping mask, I have to insert the photo first. And you remember, you have to always insert the photo, do a layer, and then clipping mask. Otherwise, this will not work. So once you have that um, done, if you want to, you kind of move the photo around a little bit. Um, you go back, and, and here's, here's, the, here's the finished product that we did on this. So now when you go back to your uh, Procreate, you see we'll have both of them there. We have this one that we did before, and then we'll have the one which is the duplicate. So here are both the lamps that we just did now with this clipping mask technique. We use this a lot for uh, designing home decor products. This video, this YouTube video was, um, is done by me, Anita. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more um, great videos on things about Procreate or other things about home decor and developing home decor products in Asia. We'd love to hear from you. So if you need some help with some products, please contact us.